my name is uh, Rémi de Quacon and I'm the UEFA project leader for the Europa League final here in, in Budapest. Thankfully, we know Pushkas Arena quite well because we've organized a, a few matches here already in the past, Super Cup 2020 and the Euro 2020 in 2021. So it's a very well-known stadium and amazing one, to be honest. Uh, it's one of the, the best that we can ever have in Europe. From UEFA side, we are about 200 persons, including the broadcasters working at the, at the TV compound. We have also approximately 30 persons from the LOS side, the local organizing structure involved uh, in uh, the overall operations. We also have the fan meeting points that will be welcoming the supporters prior to the match. We have the fan festival and also a lot of operation at the airport. So that's why it's important to, to keep an eye and give, keep uh, uh, the big picture uh, at my level. So yeah, for this year we have uh, all the fan festival uh, taking place here in Heroes Square. As you can see, it's one of the most greatest location in, in the city. As you can see behind me, there's a main stage going up, so we have lots of music content, so not just for football fans, lots of uh, different entertainment happening. There's a Legends game happening on match day, so we've got a few UEFA Legends versus Hungarian Legends happening. Lots of football activities, and you can come here and take your own special selfie with the trophy as well. Your event is as good as your suppliers and your, your team. Uh, we've got some very good members of our team at UEFA, but we've got excellent suppliers who help deliver world-class events across all of the UEFA club finals that we, we host. Without these guys, without the collaboration from the host city and the experts we have in those host cities and the federation, none of this really could happen without them. So we have a team of six on site for the media operations, which is two, myself and a colleague, over, overall responsible for the facilities and the operations. We have two who are responsible for accreditations and the media service to make sure that the media get in. Um, and then we have a dedicated venue media manager, so that's some person who is uh, working with the team. So one is working with Roma, one is working with Sevilla, and they work together with the press office to ensure that the interview requests get fulfilled. So that's there, the liaison between the broadcasters and the team press officers. So we arrived in Budapest one week before the game, so that was last week, uh, Thursday. Um, then we've got three or four days to prepare the facilities, make sure everything's in place, and a lot of work goes into that in the year before the final, but then it's putting the finishing touches to it in the week before, and then obviously the media arrive on site from the day before the game when we have the first press conferences, training sessions that are open. Uh, we have our team grows as well day by day, and then we're ready match day minus one. We have a huge number of people involved in the opening ceremony, so one of the biggest logistics is always the recruitment of our dancers and our performers. We always try where possible to use local people. The props are huge, so finding a suitable rehearsal venue is always a challenge. Shipping the props from wherever they need to come, moving through customs potentially, depending on their original location. And then bringing all of those different elements together on the day is a big challenge because again just the space required there aren't many full-size football pitches that we can use for our rehearsals. We have about uh, 200 people that in a very short time frame need to um, put all the pieces together, learn a choreography, understand their stage movements and then be ready to be rehearsed on the pitch. Already the fans are excited because kickoff is almost happening and on top of that we open the crest, they can see themselves within the crest themselves and yeah, you hear it, you feel it, like I have goosebumps all the time, it's like roar, they really get uh, excited about it. days everything is gone and basically we start straight after final whistle we remove uh, the cup ceremony we take it out and we start removing also uh, all the signage branding that is all around the, the venue itself already overnight to make sure that within two days or three days maximum we are out of the venue and we can focus already to next year final <laughs> 